good morning today we will discuss the problems on inertia constant and the swing equation so the first question is that a two pole 50 year 11 kv turbo alternator has a rating of 100 megawatt power factor of 0.85 lagging the rotor has a moment of inertia of 10000 kg meter square calculate h and m we should calculate inertia constant of h and m so the given is we know that number of poles 2 frequency 50 hertz voltage 11 kv and power factor 0.85 lagging and the power is 100 megawatt so it is now moment of inertia j had been given 10000 kg meter square now how to find h and m is our question so we know that from the basic equation that mva equals to mw by cos phi this is the basic relationship between the power factor and apparent power and real power now as we know the g is our mva rating of three phase mva rating of the alternator so instead of mva i will take it is a g i will take it is a g g is nothing but three phase mva rating of the alternator or a machine so megawatt by cos phi so 100 by 0 0.85 here no need to take 100 into 10 raised to 6 here it is megawatt only so 100 by 0.85 so one it is 117.65 mva so we have find out g so omega s it is synchronous mechanical speed so it is since it is an electrical frequency had been given 2 into 50 into 3.142 they had been put in this 100 by radian per second the next is so as we know that from the derivation of the inertia constant so kinetic energy is of j omega square this is the sm is my synchronous mechanical speed into 10 raised to minus 6 megajoules so now we have seen in the last class derivation that kinetic energy equals to zh so instead of ke i will take it as a gh so here so we here in this equation we know all the things except h so apply g 117.65 megawatt here and find out the h so h you will get here 4.19 megajoules per mva once you get the h it is easy to find m so m equals to gh by 180 f so g is 117.645 and my h is 4.19 and 180 f 180 into 50 so you will get 0 0.0548 megajoules second electrical degree now if you want this in electrical radians then you need to make this instead of 180 you need to make pi into f here instead of 180 you need to take pi into f here you need to take pi then so this is about finally you will get m equals to 0 0.0548 megajoule second per electrical degree if you want in radians you need to use here instead of 180 you need to use pi then first question is over the second question is most interesting and easier so two power stations a and b this is station one station a and station b are located close together they are located very close station a has four identical generator each rated 100 mva 9 megajoules per mva whereas station b has three sets of each rated 200 mva 
फोर मेगा जूल्स पर एम वी कैलकुलेट द इनर्शिया कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ द इक्वल मशीन ऑफ बोथ स्टेशन सच एज एन बेस एम वी ए टूगेदर बेस एम वी ए इज वन फिफ्टी एम वी ए सो हाउ टू सॉल्व दियर द गिवन इज दैट देर आर टू स्टेशन विच आर क्लोज टूगेदर so station a has four generators and 100 and uh, the base mva is 100 mva and so the mva is uh, rated mva is 100 mva and 9 megajoules per mva so and the base mva is been given for both it is 150 mva now since the stations are located close together the generator of both the stations can be recorded as a single equivalent large machine that means the generators are closed together so both the stations are together as a large equivalent one machine so h equivalent has been given four generator h1 into g1 by g base plus three generators h2 g2 by g base g base is 150 mva and g1 which is given that is actual mva so here they had been given g1 it is g1 g1 it is 100 mva h1 9 megajoules per mva and similarly they had been given g2 it is 200 mva and h2 has been given 4 megajoules per mva and g base had been given 150 mva so h equivalent apply all the all g1 h1 g2 h2 in this equation you will get your h equivalent equals to 40 megajoules per mva so this is clear most easiest now we'll go for third problem a 50 hertz four pole turbo alternator rated 20 mva 11 kv has an inertia constant of h 9 kilowatt per kv instead of we had been given megawatt per mva it had been given 9 kilowatt per kva find the find the acceleration if the input is less the rotational losses is 26800 hp and the electrical power developed amount to 16 megawatt minus the losses so here you had been given 26800 as my input power that is mechanical power and 16 megawatt is my electrical power so this is developed by due to the electrical torque or electromagnetic torque and this is developed by the mechanical torque this is developed by the input uh, uh, power that means uh, the power supplied by the uh, prime mover now so kinetic energy stored in the rotor equals to gh so 20 into 9 it is 180 megajoules so we have the swing, swing equation formula gh 180 into f d square delta dt square equals to pm minus p now p had been given directly in uh, megawatts 16 megawatt but pm he had been given in mechanical power so convert it into megawatts so 26800 hp so each hp is 746 watts so if you multiply this you will get the total watts and divided by okay right? Uh, uh, 10 to 6, then you will get 19.99 megawatt. Almost it is 20 megawatts. Now, given the electrical power as directly given here, it is 16 megawatts. Now, substituting the PM and PE in the above equation, 19.99 minus 16. So you will get. So here it is GH 20 into 9 and 180 into 50. You will get uh, d square. delta by dt square we finally 199.5 electrical degree per second square this is the final answer now the most important is a 50 hertz four pole turbo alternator rated 100 mva 11 kv has an inertia constant of 8 megajoules per mva find the stored energy in the rotor at synchronous speed first one what you need to find find the stored energy in the rotor at synchronous speed that means you need to find ke 
if the mechanical input is suddenly raised to 80 megawatt for an electrical load of 50 megawatts find the rotor acceleration neglecting the mechanical and electrical losses if the acceleration calculated in part b is maintained for 10 cycles find the change in torque angle and the rotor speed in revolution per minute at the end of the speed so here so first one is we need to find stored energy so it had been given 100 into 8 that is 8 megajoules so directly it had been given in the problem it is my g and it is my h so g into h you will get the stored energy kinetic stored stored energy or kinetic energy so 100 into 8 megajoules so it is 800 megajoules now due to the disturbance there will be a change in mechanical power and electrical power that means my driving force and opposing force all will be varying so the driving the power developed with the driving force is 80 megawatts and the power developed with the opposing force is 50 megawatts so the difference is that so here as i said in the last class my driving force is greater so my change in power it is positive so 80 minus 50 it will be 30 so apply that within a swing equation so 30 here 800 180 into 50 d square by d square delta by dt square so finally you will get d square by delta is 337.5 electrical so d square delta by dt square we can also call it is an alpha or pe also you can call no problem so now we have d square alpha by dt square equals to alpha so it is if we integrate this equation if we integrate this equation twice we will get delta equals to of alpha t square so 10 cycles here given in the question 10 cycles corresponds to 10 by 50 so it is 0.2 seconds so the time is 0.2 seconds now change in delta at the end of 10 cycles this is very important change in delta at the end of 10 cycles you apply this 0.2 in this alpha and this you will get so 6.75 337.5 into 0.2 square so which is t square so you will get 6.75 electrical degree now we need to in convert to the units of rpm per second so the angular acceleration in electrical degree per second is converted to the units of rpm per second which is as follows delta equals to 60 into 337.5 by 2 into 360 so i want to change i want to convert this electrical degree per second to an rpm per second Yes, this this I want to convert into RPM. This is electrical degree per second. I want to convert radian RPM per second. This I want to convert in RPM per second. And so you will get 28.125 RPM per second with respect to the delta only. Now, if I want to rotor speed at the end of 10 seconds, what is the speed of your rotor at the 0.2 seconds? So it is here I will get n plus n means your actual speed plus whatever the speed you will occur due to the delta. So this is an acceleration. So this is of constant speed. This term will get constant speed and this term will be due to the acceleration. So 120 into 50 by 4 it is almost 1500 plus 28. 0.125 into 0.2 this can do like this because for 2 seconds yes so it is n equals to so 1505.625 rpm that means 5 rotations per minute has been increased due to the change in input input and output powers so this is the uh, simple problems on the uh, swing equations.
so this is sufficient to, for the sake of the exam point of view and if you want more problems as i solved in this which book nagrat and kotari if you want more problems on this you, you can go for kimbark book and one more book it is stevenson so thank you in next class we will study power angle equation